create a never-ending chase loop or how to create a combination of automations in Zendesk. Hi there, customer experience community. This is Dominic. Welcome to another video. Today, we're going to look at some productivity hacks that we use in our day-to-day -day business, and that will probably be very valuable to you as well. For those of you who are tuning in for the first time, my name is Dominic. I'm a Zendesk consultant. I've been on for the past decade now. I gather best practices. I come here and I share them with you to give you value. So yeah, let's uh, hop on in. Now, this is the use case. So we need an automated way to chase our customers to make sure they get back to us with an answer. We'd like to get a sign off for different projects to make sure that they've seen the information that we've given them to make sure that we can solve the ticket, for example. Or if you're like us and you use it for sales as well, then that's then you get like a leave me alone, I don't want to buy <laughs> message to make sure that we've done our job, right? So this is in actually increasing uh, productivity and better sales cycles because it depends how you run your business. Uh, I don't know how you run your sales cycles, but you can have three touch points, five touch points, or if you're a bit of a beast like I am, you don't stop until you don't hear a no or until, I don't know, a few months have passed. So I'm going to show you how to create a loop in order to chase the customer a few times. I don't know, this is where up to you when you want to stop it. But for me, it's never ending. Yeah, let's see how it's done. This is a bit of more advanced type of approach. So get your pen, get your screenshots, whatever you need or watch this a few times because yeah, it's going to be two automations. So it's a, going to be a combination of two automations. All right, navigate to admin center, go to objects and rules, go to automation. Add an automation, give it a very intuitive name so that somebody who watches this and is not you will know what this is about. So I call it like this ticket status and then you go to pending so i put these in pending which means i'm waiting for a reply from the customer then i put another condition tag contains at least one of the following and i have a tag which i call it offer now i add a condition hours since updated so since anybody updated this ticket and then i use business hours so greater than eight hours of business which means one day of work and then i say another tag i say tag contains none of the following and i have an, an additional tag all right so these are my conditions this is all i need so I'm looking for this, none of this. Why I'm adding this is because I'm going to exclude this or I'm going to add it. You'll see in just a second. And then I'm going to go to my actions and my actions are going to be uh, email user, email user, request for NCCs, uh, whatever subject, body, a very nice body. This is for you to fill out, use dynamic content to translate this in whatever language that you want to use. Uh, then and add tags. I'm going to add a tag now, and the tag is going to be continuous chase. You got that right. If you see this thing that I've I said I didn't want to see it here, I'm adding it here. Why? You'll see in the next automation. And then I'll put the ticket status. I'll put it back to pending. All right. So create automation. All right. So now we add our second automation. This automation makes sure that it removes the tag. Now chase offer people tag with continuous remove tag i say again status category this is status don't mind if it says category is pending again add another condition and we say tag contains at least one we look for the offer tag again tag again now in the actions it's a very simple one a tag again remove tag continuous chase Great automation. So what this does is it uh, removes the continuous chase tag and the process can start all over from automation number one. This is how you do it. All right. I hope this was valuable for you. Again, I said this is a little bit more advanced. Make sure that you stop. Make sure that you see you apply this to your own example. And yeah, make sure you hit that like and subscribe. Comment if you want to see some special content and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.